Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharmacio. In the previous video, we discussed the general methods of synthesis of sulfonamides. Hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other related topics of sulfonamides and medicinal chemistry, see the description below this video. In this lesson, we shall try to understand the structure activity relationships of sulfonamides. In order to serve as an effective antibacterial agent, a sulfonamide agent must be capable of acting as a mimic that is competitive inhibitor of the natural substrate PABA that is para-amino benzoic acid which is normally processed by dihydroteroate synthase enzyme. The structural requirements of the sulfonamide antibacterial agents consist merely a para-substituted aniline-derived sulfonamide that contains an appropriate acidic sulfonamide functionality. Deviation from this simple construct results in loss of antibacterial activity. With respect to antibacterial effects, para-substitution about the benzene ring disposes the anilino group and the acidic sulfonamido moiety to positions that best mimic PABA. This feature is vital. Isomeric analogues are useless as antibacterial agents. The replacement of the benzene ring with heterocycles or saturated hydrocarbon rings is not tolerated which means antibacterial activity is abolished. Alteration of the anilinoamine functionality is generally not acceptable except for one modification that being replacement with para nitromoiety or para acetamido group. In this context, alcohol, ether, halogen, carboxylic acid and simple alkyl groups directly attached on the para position of the benzene sulfonamide are inactive. Interestingly, the incorporation of an additional sulfonamide moiety at this position to give a bis sulfonamide of paraphenyldiamine also results in loss of activity. This finding indicates that a nitrogen atom directly bonded to the aromatic carbon atom is required and that a simple amino group is the best choice. There are some variations. Appropriately substituted anilines can behave as active derivatives if the corresponding free amine can be generated in vivo. For example, paraestamido benzene sulfonamide which itself is an inactive compound cleaves to generate a sulfonylamide in vivo which is found to be an active compound. That is the reason N-alkylation is not acceptable and N-acylation is only tolerated if an appreciable rate of deacylation is operative in the body. When summed, a prerequisite for recognition by the dihydroteroate enzyme is clearly a para-aminobenzene sulfonamide. There is only one remaining site of this pharmacophore that is N1 substitutions where sulfonamides can be modified in a productive manner. We shall now see the substituents at N1, that is variations of the sulfonamido group. Replacement of the sulfonamide group with other acid groups such as sulfonic, sulfonic, phosphoric or arsenous acids results in a decrease or complete loss of antibacterial activity. Antibacterial activity can be partially retained in some derivatives in which the sulfonyl center is reduced to the sulfoxide oxidation state or exists as a disulfide joined to an additional para-substituted aniline ring. Simple para-substituted phenylene diamines, derivatives in which that sulfonyl center is excised are inactive. Acetylated amino groups as well as cyano and nitromoieties are not suitable sulfonamide replacements and lead to loss of activity. Overall, the sulfonamide moiety is fairly indispensable with few exceptions, none of which offer any advantage in terms of enzyme binding and antibacterial activity. The majority of synthetic modifications of the sulfonamides has encompassed substitution directly onto the sulfonamide nitrogen center, that is, the N1 position of the sulfonamide. In this context, N aryylation and N acetylation can be particularly fruitful. Mono substitution is usually advantageous. Distribution of the sulfonamido nitrogen atom usually results in loss of antibacterial activity due to the loss of the acidic proton site. 
a notable exception is in which a simple acetyl group is joined to an aryl substituted sulfonamide at the N1 position, for example, sulfisoxazole. The incorporation of an aromatic group directly onto the sulfonamido N1 center are tolerated. But purely carbocyclic substituents do not offer any improvement in activity compared to sulfonylamide. Introducing a heteroatom within the aromatic group produced superior derivatives. In this context, nitrogen containing heterocycles are particularly attractive substituents in that not only can potency be enhanced but elimination half-life can often be extended. In addition, tissue distribution and absorption can be greatly altered depending upon the particular heterocycle present as well as a substituent emanating from the ring. Other heterocyclic systems that contain oxygen and or sulfur but do not contain nitrogen are inferior derivatives. A basic nitrogen heterocycle can be regarded as being optimum. For example, sulfapyridine which contain a 2-pyridinyl group is unique being the only sulfonamide containing a lone nitrogen atom within its heterocyclic pyridine ring to achieve a widespread use. A 5-membered heterocyclic substituent that contains two heteroatoms, for example oxazole or isoxazole, have been successfully developed to have significant antibacterial activity. For example, sulfisoxazole, sulfamethoxazole and sulfamoxazole. The best oxazole derived agents have the heterocyclic ring attached at the C2 position to the sulfonamide N1 position. Isoxazole derivatives can be attached at the corresponding C3 or C5 positions. The thiazole ring is the most important of the sulfur containing heterocycles. The most important derivatives are joined at the C2 position as exemplified by sulfa thiazole or any of its N carboxy acyl derivatives. Heterocycles which contain a third heteroatom, for example, a thiadiazole derivative such as sulfamethimazole, offer no advantage over agents which possess the simple oxazole, isoxazole, or thiazole moiety. The optimum 5 membered heterocycles are depicted here. Six-membered heterocycle rings that exclusively contain two nitrogen atoms such as a pyrimidine and a pyridazine joined to the sulfonamido nitrogen can confer superb antibacterial properties. Sulfadiazine is a prototype of the pyrimidine-derived sulfonamides and contains a simple pyridine ring joined at the C2 position of the sulfonamido nitrogen center. The attachment of a pyrimidine substituent at the C6 position is an important isomeric modification. In addition, the placement of one or two small alkyl substituents onto the heterocycle can be desirable. With pyrimidine derivatives, both methyl and methoxide substituents afford agents that display outstanding antibacterial properties such as sulfisomidine, sulfamethoxin, and sulfadimethoxin. The most significant six-membered heterocyclic substituents are summarized here. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the structure activity relationships of sulfonamides. In the next lesson, we will discuss the mechanism of action of sulfonamides. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.